Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm Nye, Trance is with me, and we're going through the second run-through of Port Royal. Is this supposed to be Royal or Royale? Yes. Yeah, kind of figured. Okay, so I don't know what we can accomplish here, but uh, this is a man in black, and that's the chest of Aztec treasure. So you know something good's about to happen. Yeah, something nice is about to happen here. So, here we are back on the battlements. There's something coming for the port. I have no idea because I didn't hear anything. We'll go ahead and go check there. And eventually we'll do the, uh... oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Let's see, I think I already have these, so I don't really care about those. Anything in synthesis we can do? I think you checked that last time and it didn't have anything. Well, it's been... I mean, well, that's right. I haven't really done all that much since. I went ahead, guys, and I did training on summons, just kind of like I did with the forms last time around. So our summons are now up to level 7 like they should be. Jack! Uh, Zola, some assistance? <laughs> Zola, some assistance! That's Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Will you leave a mate to perish? Aye, aye. I'm trying to remember. If I remember correctly, the guy who plays Jack is someone, as a voice actor I really like, but I can't remember who it is. I think it's just Johnny Depp. It isn't. I know that they... for a fact, it isn't. <clears throat> they went for someone different in this? Yeah. Actually, uh, none of the pirates crew is in here. I think they just—I don't think they could afford them, honestly, because at that point they were so huge that there's no way you could have gotten them. I mean, honestly, the the pirates crew, the guys who you know did pirates, each well, maybe not like the sub guys, but almost every single one of those actors is like a. So it's been very yeah. hard to get them. They always have been top of the line, too. Yeah. So we went ahead, and uh, turns out the um, the pirates are back, which is kind of bad. Yeah, the pirates, they're cursed again. And you can hear, like, the... the uh, in your head, you can hear the trail off in Sora's voice as he sort of slowly looks over to Jack. Some scallywag once gotten greedy. Everybody looks at Jack. Just because it was me doesn't mean you have to assume it was me. <laughs> I do like I, I do like his response. Likely a wise choice not to trust me. I am a pirate, mates. I, I like that. Just the whole acknowledging, yeah, this is the case. Hey, look, it's Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Some sticky business is afoot. It's not my feet. I just watched them. That's horrible. That was a great film. Oh, that's why I like Captain Jack. It's one of my favorite voice actors in yet another game that I love. Oh? It's the same voice actor who plays not only uh, Tidus in Final Fantasy X, he also plays uh, the Green Arrow in Batman the Brave and the Bold and uh, uh, Ratchet and Ratchet and Clank. I... Did it know Titus was Ratchet? That's yeah, Titus is Ratchet. Cool. Oh, this guy is, his was name that? is uh his name is James Arnold Taylor and he's in fucking everything. He's a really good voice actor. <laughs> if any lass could go ahead and you know take on a pair of pirates, it's gonna be you, Elizabeth. God, that seems like an insult. But yeah, that's uh, James Arnold Taylor, and I, l I love his uh, I love his voice acting. He's amazing. Mm. He'd be better with an Australian accent, but that holds true for everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go on the high seas again. I am not a tremendous fan of this part of the game. At least it's not Atlantica. No, we'll be doing more of that. I did some of that last episode, if I remember correctly. So we need to go talk to Jack, and we're going to tell him where to go on the map here. 
All we can go is to the Isla de Muerta, and so we're going to go to the Isla de Muerta. Yep. Exciting. Island of Death. Hey, look, it's more pirates. Who would have thought that was going to fight more pirates on the ship? Using the same mechanic as we did last time. Come on, can you guys just step into the moonlight, please? Yeah, you. I like where you're standing. You just stay right there. Okay, that's one down. At the very least, the Heartless don't have the whole not targetable in moonlight, or in a shadow thing. Otherwise, this would be really annoying. Let's see, I still got another Heartless left over here. Good, you're gone. See if we can take it. No! Get out of the freaking shadows. Yes, you over. No! Magic magnet. Seriously, that doesn't work? Really? Okay, maybe it did. Have I mentioned how much I don't like these guys? Yes. Now, James Arlton Taylor plays just. He plays everything. He's done Spider-Man, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Thor, Magneto. Well, he's not quite as everything as some. I mean, he's no Christopher Lee. Yeah, I know. But he's kind of like the Christopher Lee of voiceover. No, Christopher Lee is the Christopher Lee of voiceovers. Just voiceover. Wasn't he, uh, wasn't Christopher Lee also in the Page Master? No, that's, um, Christopher Lloyd. Elizabeth. Right, right. God, I love his voice, too. Mm-hmm. He's got a good, like, this rich voice. The stone chest. Someone's taken the... So someone's taken the chest. Next thing I knew, we were attacked. But I couldn't see who it was. His face was shrouded in a, in a black, black hood. hood. Oh, Organization. we know what a black hood means. We found a way out of the cave. Black ink. But Black the dark. villains sent a horde of terrible Racism. creatures after us. Now that's a white hood. I've never seen their likes before. Yep, I went there. I think I'm the only one who made it back to the ship. Well, Elizabeth. You know, uh, sailing this ship, like rather, uh, the five-man job that it is. I did it all by myself because I'm a badass. Uh huh. Our turn, guys. Oh, really you best five go man. It's... You've no idea what's out there. A ship that Pardon size? Me, lads and lass. I mean, but the sail adjustments, no monsters yeah, but today. that's Thank the you. sail perfect. We're turning for you home. sail acceptably in your current state. Just like that? Just like that. Uh, you know who else uh, James Ronald Taylor voiced, Trance? Hitler? Young Emmett Brown in the Back to the Future games, who was nice. also voiced by... Uh, or who was also played by Christopher Lloyd. It's amazing how some of these things match up. And what are we going to find on deck? Don't remember inviting you. Okay, who was Jack talking to just there? So it was the organization. There was oh, no hey, one on deck yet. Uh -huh. So here's our new, uh... The darkness of men's hearts, drawn to these cursed medallions. And this I can't remember this guy's name. A veritable maelstrom of avarice. Uh, I wonder... Carl. Are they worthy to serve no, it has Organization 13? Carl's. No. Do you want an answer now? Precisely. Carl. I do happen to like the, the little interplay that Jack always does. I don't, uh, Trance, I was, I was reading about uh, Christopher Lee last night, and I found the most amusing fact. You know the old game, Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon? Christopher Lee was rated on the Kevin Bacon scale, and he is 2.5, uh, I think they said like 2.53 um, steps away from any given actor, which makes him closer to the center of the acting universe than Kevin Bacon. So we should actually be playing Six Degrees of Christopher Lee. Yeah. 
that's amazing in all kinds of ways. So this is a fair, fairly a general boss fight. I wouldn't even consider this to be a boss fight, honestly. It's maybe a sub-boss, a mid-boss, if you will. We should rename this guy Dark Adonis. But yeah, this is a... Um, this is an easy fight. Just keep on whacking at him because there's, there's no risk of dying here. I think I've taken a hit. I think the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean worlds use the same color palette as the uh, Halloween Town. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't think color palettes are actually a thing in the newer games. Well, Didn't I'm talking you? about for um, like for HP bars stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not over yet. So yeah, this is what uh this guy does. I still can't remember his name. Throw him overboard, Frank. Aye, aye. Holy. Oh wait, no, has <laughs> I love this so Why? much. It's a bit of a pirate's code. Anyone who invokes parlay must not be harmed. I love how the guy invokes parlay on Jack. It's amazing. No time for rules. The true. But as we're honorable pirates, we should always stick to the code. All right, you. Out with it. It's just amazing. The chest with my the thing with parlay is it's really more of a guideline. Yeah, but the funny thing is Jack pulls a 180 in the game. He treats his rule. For the memories. Huh? This is rather interesting. And here's a new nobody type. My favorite nobody type. Our friends about to learn Clue Klux Klan members? Oh. Magicians. No, 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 they're called gamblers. That's what it is. They look like clan It's horrible. So here's a here's a problem. This uh, this boss has been affected by the pirate's curse. Fire! Oh dear. She just uh fired the cannonades at us. That's bad. The, inter the interceptor just went boom with us on it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Well, we're boned. No. Gonna need another main character. I totally love uh, dinosaurs. We need to have that voice just in the background. Gonna need another Timmy. Hey, look, Sora's alive. Again? Were I only that fortunate? So, what was that sound? Your old skeleton That's guy Perhaps I got a touch of something from that monster. What is that? Why is the skin resting mm. right on you three? <laughs> Why is the skin resting right on you three? <laughs> I love this so much. That still doesn't solve the mystery. I love this, the this, the running jokes in the game. Maybe the reason we're all okay is because we're not from this world. Not from this world, you yeah. say? You haven't said anything about this we're before. We're just passing through. Wonder when we'll see home again. There's a couple. Of, there's a, a couple of running jokes for every character. <laughs> just kidding you. Which I love. Lucky we didn't get cursed, huh? Quit yammering, mates. We've got to find ourselves a ship that'll float. Okay, let's go find a ship in the ship's graveyard. But, uh, yeah, the running jokes, uh, for Goofy, it's Goofy is the smartest character in the game. For Donald, it's Donald is greedy and wants every treasure he can get his hands on. And, uh, we haven't actually seen Sora's yet. Uh, it comes up a little bit later. Got the feather charms, now we can call in Peter Pan if we so choose. Sora's is that he's a useless buffoon? Actually, no, Sora's has to do with, uh, love. Love and the peace. Now, his running joke, again, it hasn't come up yet, but the running joke for Sora is that he gets all, like, blushy and embarrassed when love comes up. So, uh, he, he shows it every once in a while, and I think, uh, I can't remember which cutscene is, but there's a certain cutscene where they start making fun of him for it. Okay, you know what? Can I get a magnet right here? There we go. Magnus, man. I hate this combat. Okay, let me just... 
let's just go grab the, uh, ow. Let's just go grab the treasure chest, and we're just gonna ignore these guys, because I don't feel like fighting them. Got another one over here. King recipe. So now, uh, when I get the ingredients, we can now create God Save the King, which is, uh, Goofy's ultimate shield, which I won't be able to make for a very long time. I forget the stats on it, but it's generally pretty good. I think it's, uh... I know it's not his absolute best, that's a rare, but it is... It's his It's his best otherwise able to be dropped item. It's a craftable. Yeah, it's a craftable, but it also, you know, using the uh, right combination of items, you can make God Save the King Plus, which is really powerful. Okay, so it's a mini game time. Kind of, a little bit, sort of. More like alternate objective. So there's a gambler up there. So what we have to do is we have X amount of time to actually get the medallion off this gambler. Think, uh, Demix. Except not quite as dickish. Nothing could ever be as dickish as Demix. I killed him before he got to the hard one, so, you know. Ooh. Oh, also, Trance, when we got to Azald and I tried your, uh, I did your strategy, which is learn, 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 jump, 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 jump. Worked yeah. like a charm. Seriously, I, I don't get why people don't do that. It tears him apart. Three more to go. Yeah, How but not know? everybody knows. Uh, a pirate must have a keen eye, else he won't be sailing free for very uh, long. Not everybody knows Sorry. that it makes you untargetable. Right. I tell everyone, and they're always no. That doesn't work. Even you said it wouldn't work. And what did it do? Oh, I don't recall saying it wouldn't work. Ridiculous. I recall saying I'd never yet. done it before. Flattered. Oh, whatever. It, it, I don't know why I used that strategy, but it, it just seemed the right way to go, and it turns him from a boss that's a challenge into nothing. He's, he's I useless. just never, I just never got around to using learn. It, it sounds useless, but reaction commands, the game does everything it can to teach you, hey, Reaction commands are awesome. Use them. So, use them. And those of us who hate quick time events go, Reaction commands, ignore them! Yeah. So there's some witty banter back and forth between Will and Jack. And it's about to be revealed that we need to find all the medallions. Which is annoying. Unfortunately, as good as it could have been, the Pirates of the Caribbean world is just not good. Okay, so there will be a medallion in each of these three areas. Let's go back to the ship's graveyard because there are some treasure chests that we need that are in this direction. Uh, including one which is very important. Okay, so I got 30 seconds to find the Heartless that has the medallion and kill it. Not Heartless, but nobody. Uh, it's right there. Let's go attack it. It is once again a gambler. And done. Now I just have to make sure to pick up the uh, medallion. Now let's go ahead and pick up a couple of these treasure chests. Got an AP boost there. I'm looking for there's one of these, which is fairly important, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's... Th uh, there's an orc hawk in there. Maybe it's the one I already picked up. The... Uh, the save the king. Maybe that's the one I'm remembering. Ah, no, it's the meteor staff. That's right. And Don't if I remember king. correctly, should yeah. You should stand against the king. Yes. Stand against Trance. the king. Rebellion. Trance. Will strike him down and burn. Trance. Him. What? Look what I got. It's shiny. It's lucky, lucky. Oh my, that's right. That's a great weapon. I knew there was a reason I wanted to come here. Okay, so... Is that a, is that a buyable or was that a drop? Uh, it's a tre treasure chest. Oh, right, right. I, I blinked. Bugger off. Bugger off, then. So there's a sort of summon boost, which I will not be using. But yes, yeah, so now we have Donald's Lucky Lucky item, which actually technically means, because I have it on Sora, Donald, and Goofy, we have three Lucky Luckies active right now. Which is awesome. Oh, lucky mo better. 
we'll get we'll be getting more eventually okay so we're done with this area and that's gonna be it for this episode guys when I return uh, when we return we'll be moving on with the black pearl to uh, go to the other two areas get the other two medallions and beat this obscenely quick if painful uh, level we will see you guys later Ta-ta. Arrivederci, mon ami.